and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The SSR is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights for July 23. This one is a list of paid systems and tools. In the last video, I already covered all the best free new assets, and the next one, I'll cover top visuals and effects. As always, there's links to the assets in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon CodeMonkey10 to get 10% off your order. Also, right now, the Cinti store is having their birthday sale, so pretty much all of their packs are currently at half price. They've been doing this for 9 years, so whatever game ideas you have, chances are there's a pack perfect for just that. For example, the military pack is great for any kind of shooting game. The Fantasy Kingdom pack is a great general medieval style asset pack. Then you can make a survival game with the Apocalypse pack, perhaps a racing game with the Street Racer, maybe a Tycoon game with the Shops pack, and tons more. And the Sapphire Worlds pack, this one is the pack that I'm using in my upcoming Steam game, Dinky Guardians. Go ahead and add it to your wishlist. So as you can see, lots of great stuff at all price points. Check out the entire sale, link in the description. Alright, so starting off with a massive update to an already existing excellent tool, it's Text Animator version 2. This is one that I've had on my list to do a full review for quite some time. I've used it a tiny bit and what I saw was awesome. Basically, it's a tool to really help you make your text stand out. You can add all kinds of effects and animations. You can make it wave, shake, rotate. You can make it change colors, fade, bounce, and tons more. Pretty much every single game has text, and a tool like this one can really help you polish that text. This one is a very robust tool that has already been used in production in several excellent successful games, things like Slime Rancher, Peglin, and Conflict of the Lamb. Version 2.0 is a massive update, which is almost a complete rewrite, whilst adding tons of new features, things like editor preview, new effects, and a bunch more. I believe this massive update is free, at least for me it already showed up on my account, so if you already have it, go see what is new, and if you don't, then definitely look into it, it's an excellent tool that can really help your games shine. Up next, here's a massive shooter game kit. If you want to quickly make a shooter, then this one would be an excellent starting point. The name says primarily third person, but it also supports first person. It features some realistic locomotion with dynamic rotation and ragdolls. It's got IK foot placement that it works on any terrain. It includes multiple pre-made game styles, things like regular third person, top down, 2.5D side scroller, and first person. The weapon system is also very robust with physical bullets, dual wielding, ricochet, and melee weapon support. It includes an inventory, cross-platform controls, gravity system, vehicle controls, AI, and a bunch more. It's super easy to get started, just drag and drop the character and that's it. Also features extensive documentation, which is super important for a complex asset like this one. All in all, it looks like an extremely complete package, so if there's some shooter game idea that you'd like to quickly prototype, then this can be quite useful. Up next, here is one that is simultaneously just a visual but also a tool. It's a lava and volcano environment. This one is visually gorgeous, super high quality assets with some super complex shaders. Looking at this makes me want to make a game inspired by something like Mount Doom, or perhaps recreate that iconic Star Wars scene. It includes a bunch of tools to really customize it. There's a spline tool to control the flow of the lava. You can create rivers, roads, and cliffs. There's a tool for generating lakes or endless seas. It includes nine demo scenes so you can see it in action in all sorts of environments. So if you need some gorgeous lava system, definitely look into it. Or if you'd like to research flow maps, then this also looks like a great asset to research. Then if you want to make your game more performant, look at this FSR package. FSR means Fidelity Super Resolution. It's an AI upscaling technique. This technique is built by AMD, but but as far as I know, it works on most NVIDIA cards. This can be excellent for making your game performant without sacrificing much visual quality. In case you don't know, on the render pipeline asset, you can actually modify the render scale. So one way to improve performance if your game is GPU bottlenecked would be to lower that render scale and then use this tool to bring the visuals back up. It is really easy to use, you just add a component and it's done. So this is a great option if you have some performance issues. Next for another visual tool, here is Planar Reflections. This one lets you add real-time reflections to your game. If you don't know, Unity only supports baked reflections by default. If you have dynamic objects, they will not show up on the reflections. Now, in the description, they don't mention what technique they're using. They mention performance, so I assume these are screen space reflections and not ray trace. Visually, they look great and it also looks super easy to use. You just add the component and play with the settings. There's tons of options to modify. Reflections is one thing that can really help your game look much better, and Unity's limitation of only being baked really limits things, so this tool is a great way to push your visuals to the next level. Then, if you'd like to make a time of day system, or some weather, then look at this one. It includes quite a lot of options. You can change from day into night. It even has a procedural skybox that looks really great. Even the moon is procedural. You can watch as the sun rises and sets while changing the entire lighting. There's also a weather system, which supports rainfall with some nice water puddles and droplets. Then that water can be dried with a sunny weather, or you can set up some snowfall, which slowly fills up the world. 
It includes two shaders for the weather. There's a regular shader and a stylized one. Adding a day night second like this one is one of those things that can really help you polish your game. Next, here's a simple tool that does exactly what it says. Google Sheets to JSON to C Sharp. Basically, you can define all of your data in a Google Sheet. Then with a button click, easily import it into your game and have access to all that data from a simple C Sharp class. So like I said, it does exactly one task and does it very well. This can be extremely useful if you're working with a designer or if you yourself like to design all kinds of numbers on a Google sheet. That workflow can sometimes be great when you need to balance tons and tons of values. With this you can do all of that balancing work in a simple spreadsheet and then easily import all of it into your game. Then since a while ago we saw some lava, now here is some water. It's a water system for URP. Unity has actually been working on an impressive water system, but so far it's HDRP only, so this one looks like a great alternative if you're working in URP. Visually it looks really great, nice waves, nice foam, it's got subsurface scattering and refraction, it includes cutout volumes so the hull of your ship stays dry. You can also place water within water if for some reason you need to do that. You can add some nice customizable ripple trails. Also includes some highly performance buoyancy physics and some nice underwater caustics. So this really looks like an extremely complete feature rich water system. Definitely give it a look if you need some water. Next for a UI tool here is a complete modular kit. This one includes a ton of stuff. You can customize your layout, you can define color palettes, includes a ton of icons in both color and black and white. Every element is carefully organized to make it easy to find what you're looking for. There's lots of pre-built prefabs to make it easy to get started. So you've got pop-ups, sliders, buttons, toggles, scroll areas, tooltips and gradients. It even includes scene fade in and fade out effects. This is really one of those tools that is massive which might require some time to learn, but if you learn it, it can make you very productive. I can see this being great if you're constantly building tons of new projects. Then here we have one to help you animate things easier. The Unity animation window is actually pretty basic. Now I'm no animator, but I have always found the animation curve editor to be really tricky to use, and this tool is meant to exactly help solve that. Features a very robust curve editor. You can edit multiple keyframes at once, which is super helpful. You can create all sorts of presets to quickly select any action you want. So if you like animating directly inside Unity, then this looks quite useful. All right, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity App Store for July 23. There's links to all in the description. And as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also check out my own free and pass on the store. All right, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.